today we're gonna dye a yard of bamboo velour. Many people in the sewing world call it OBV, organic bamboo velour. It's very fuzzy on one side and it's smooth. It's a smooth knit on the other side. I use this for sewing cloth menstrual pads or reusable diapers for babies. It's also really nice for like clothing for babies because it's so soft. Lots of uses for it and there is a high demand for dyed bamboo velour in the sewing world. So anyway, I have a ton of this on hand and I just felt the urge to dye some of it because it really dyes beautifully. Um, rayon bamboo viscose takes color really nicely. So, and especially um, the really fuzzy parts, just the way that it shines a little bit, it's for a color connoisseur, it's a nice experience to dye. So here's what I've done so far. I tied it up with artificial sinew. I'm going to dye this on a rack with an ice guard so that the dye and the ice will drip through and not it's not going to be sitting in the muck this time. Um, so I'm going to do several colors on this because this is a large piece of fabric and I want to have a variety of colors. See how large this is? I am going to sprinkle on the soda ash with the ice and the dye. I am not pre-soaking this. Uh, thanks for watching so far if you have. Here we go. I've gotten into the habit of using a bin, a rack, and my magic tracks as a guard for the ice. But if I could do this again, and I will try this again, I would use those white wire baskets you see in the background. They do a much better job of holding up the ice securely so that it will drip down instead of falling off when it's melting. Because in the end, this piece, although it looks beautiful, could have used a little more dye and ice saturation. Um, I could have flipped it over after the first application and applied more dye and ice, and now I wish I would have done that. But, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So here it is with the ice and the dye. The soda ash is sprinkled on top, and then I always do a light dusting of Raven for contrast. Here are the colors that I used this time. I wish I would have left out the lime pop. I went in a couple times with a squirt bottle and some cold water to squirt some of the dye that didn't dissolve. Overall, I'm happy with some of the colors for sewing pads. There are plenty of smaller areas in here that look really great. Um, overall, I just wish that the lines were more defined and I wish that there was less white blotchy areas. <laughs> so I might be too picky, huh?